morning, boys and girls. Today we're in Miss Carolyn's Godly Playroom, and I want to welcome you to All Angels Beulah Land story, the story of Jonah and the whale. Put your listening ears on and watch closely with your eyes and see if you see anything that you recognize. Once upon a time, there was a man named Jonah, and God called to Jonah, and he said to him, Jonah, Jonah, and Jonah said, here I am, here I am, and God said to Jonah, get up and go to the city of Nineveh. And because the people are there are doing bad things, say to them, the Lord says you must change your ways. So Jonah went to the city of Joppa and not to the city of Nineveh. While he was in Joppa, he decided that he was going to get on a boat to go to Tarshish. That was far away from Nineveh. But could Jonah sail away from God? Uh-uh. No, he couldn't. So God sent a storm with lightning thunder and wind and the boat rocked and the sailors got afraid and they said what have we done that this storm is happening to us what should we do we are all going to drown but Jonah said it's because of me I was trying to run away from my God and the Lord who made heaven and earth, the land and the sea. But God has caught up with me. So the sailors looked at each other and they said, we will do what we have to do. And they threw Jonah overboard. And the wind and the rain and the lightning stopped. And the boat sailed away, and God sent a very large fish that swallowed Jonah into his belly. And he lived in his belly for three days and three nights. While Jonah was in the belly of the fish, he said a prayer to the Lord, and the Lord heard his prayer. So the Lord spoke to the fish, and that fish spit Jonah out onto dry land. And once again, God spoke to Jonah, and he said, Jonah, Jonah. And Jonah said, here I am, here I am. And God said, get up and go to the city of Nineveh and tell my people that they need to change their ways just as I told you to do before. Stop doing bad things. So, this time, Jonah went to the city of Nineveh and he told the people that they needed to stop doing bad things. And God was so happy because the people listened to Jonah and started living a good life and not doing bad things. That's our story for today.
Hope to see you next time. Hey everybody, I'm Father Greg. I'd like to sing a song about my favorite character in the Bible, Jonah. Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo, Jojo? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo, Jojo? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo, Jojo? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah down? Well did, well did, well did swallow Jojo Jojo. Well did, well did, well did swallow Jojo Jojo. Well did, well did, well did swallow Jojo Jojo. Well did swallow Jonah. Well did swallow Jonah. Well did swallow Jonah down. The craft today is a Jonah and the whale catch game. You're gonna need a string or a piece of yarn, some kind of tape, masking tape or duct tape, whatever you have, a piece of paper to make a tail, a cup, a pair of scissors, a marker, a paper towel, and either a piece of candy, an acorn, or a magnet, something to give Jonah some weight. You will Take, get mama or daddy to punch a hole in your cup, help you put the string in the cup, tie it into a knot like this, pull paper towel up, tie it to your string, take your Sharpie, draw Jonah, and then put an eye and a mouth on the well. Your tail's cut out, turn it over and tape it here. So we have the tie, Jonah, and the whale. And this is what you do. <laughs> the whale swallowed Jonah. Have fun! I hope you saw a big fish and maybe a boat in our story today. But most of all, I want you to remember that you are supposed to do good things and that makes God happy. Now let's say a prayer. Fold your hands, bow your head, and repeat after me. Dear God, help me to remember to do good things that make you happy. And if you speak to me, I need to remember to listen and do as you would like me to do. Amen. Amen.